Currently, there's over 60 vineyards and 65 wineries in the state of Idaho. Idaho is considered the new frontier in wine growing really because of the climate. It's a great growing region with hot days and cool nights. It's still a place that has affordable land. The Idaho wine industry actually started in northern Idaho in the 1860s in the Lewiston area. The wineries were winning awards around the country and then something really bad happened, prohibition. Prohibition really had a devastating effect on the Idaho wine industry and the wine industry across the country for that matter. It took a long, long time for it to come back and it wasn't until the 1970s that things really started to get going again. The Idaho wine industry has a $209 million impact on the state of Idaho, which is very significant. Socially, the wine industry just makes our state better. It's just another piece of the puzzle for not only tourism, but just everyday way of life in Idaho. The Idaho wine industry is a gem within the gem state. My name is Mike Williamson. I'm a fourth generation uh, fruit grower in Idaho. I'd be able to pour a glass for somebody and see that expression on their face when they taste that first glass of our wine. I, I love it. When you come into an Idaho winery, there's a good chance you might be able to talk to somebody whose name is on the bottle. There's a good chance you might talk to somebody who has vineyard dirt on their boots. Their thumbs may be green from uh, handling the vines or purple from uh, dealing with the wine. I love Idaho's wine culture because it's so welcoming. In Idaho, you can just come to wineries as you are. Come off of the green belt, off of a bike ride, come off the river. Really, any situation, you can be at an Idaho winery. I think the mentality is approachable. And that's what I like about it. The come as you are or a step outside the ordinary, I think it's perfect because we want people to come to our tasting rooms, taste our wines, not be intimidated, just be yourself. We have so much to offer here. Our wines are excellent. People are proud to bring Idaho wine to their dinner table, to mail it as gifts, to share it with their friends and family. In Idaho, we love the outdoors. We love our friends, we love our dog, and we love our Idaho wine. Idaho is rich in uh, volcanic soils. There's many types, but the volcanic soils that are present in Idaho really add to the uh, minerality and the, the richness and flavor that we experience in Idaho wines. You see a unique component to the fruit and the wines that we have here. And I think it, it does fall back to the ancient Lake Idaho and, and, and what resided in this area millions of years ago. You'll get some spiciness. You get the Bing cherry, you get the dark fruits. In combination with our warm continental climate, it just has this uniqueness that is identifiable for Idaho. From uh, the moment you decide a piece of ground is good for growing grapes, it probably takes us five years before we have something that we can harvest. The time commitment to get a vineyard started is a lot of work, a lot of materials, a lot of money, a lot of time. It's almost indescribable how much work it takes. The winter will start pre-pruning with a machine. Prior to the crew starting hand pruning, which we typically start February 1st. So in the springtime, it's a busy time in the vineyard. We uh, go through with our heavy pruning operation. We have um, shoot emergence or, or bud break is happening. We go through with a couple of shoot thinning or uh, early fruit removal time period. And um, we also will see bloom and we'll see that first fruit set there towards the beginning of June. When it starts growing, it's really fun to watch because it goes through a grand period of growth. These grapes will just grow like crazy and that's really fun to watch. Summertime is mostly focused on canopy management, pest control, and irrigation. Summertime is all about preparing for harvest. Harvest for sure is my favorite time of the year. The whole team is all excited, the fruit's starting to come in. It's a new year of wanting to make the best wine that you can make. It brings excitement all the way around. It'll be crazy, 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 and 
the best day is the last day when the last grape is picked and delivered. The casual spirit of Idaho, there's a, there's a spirit of cooperation, there's a spirit of, of learning and, uh, and discovery that really allows us as growers, me as a grower, to, to explore. It's a lot and a lot of work and it takes a lot of good people. It takes hours upon hours to get that fruit to grow great, and it is so much work. But I love it. <laughs> Idaho has a really great climate for growing grapes. We have uh, really long days, and we cool down really well at night. The things that grow well here, Syrah, Tempranillo, Viognier, and other grape varietals, we have the right soil, we have a really nice diurnal cycle, and we just have a good growing season for wine grapes. You have unique spots all over the area, and then when you plant fruit in these different locations, you get this unique character among the wines. Harvest is my favorite time of year. It's a time when I think the cooperation that goes on in Idaho winemaking is really present. The benefit of being collaborative is that if one winery succeeds, the state of Idaho succeeds. We were processing Syrah today. We're sorting it to pull out anything that we don't want, green material, bad clusters, and then we're destemming it. So it'll sit in a cold room for the next five to six days before we start our fermentation. Then fermentation will start, and that will be the adding of the yeast to convert the sugar that's in the grape to alcohol. That takes anywhere from six to eight days. Then we'll go to press. We'll press it and it'll go into the barrels, and then it'll sit for two years in the barrel. So what I love about Idaho winemaking is the creativity that I, that I get to see with uh, the different winemakers. I'm amazed at the creativity and the way that they take these benefits that, are, that come from a harvest and, um, and uh, leverage those and uh, utilize those so that those shine. We are still cohesive as a group. We are all trying to make Idaho great as a wine industry. And we're all in this together. It's still small and we work together to try to benefit the state of Idaho. I think that we have a growing and emerging market in Idaho. We're able to provide high quality wines at a price point that's affordable for us to make the wines and the consumers see that as a value, which is a great win-win for us right now. Go to a winery and taste wines and try three or four different wines because life's too short for bad wine. Just find the wine that you really love. There is no right or wrong in the wine world. So try everything and drink what you love. Thank you.